gemstones. Because I know she'll cover everything with them. Anyway, Walmart. Anyway, also bought these because they're um, pediatricians number one. Who, does anyone still watch the Flintstones? For those of you out here watching who have kids, do you know who the Flintstones are? Is that still on TV? All I know is I grew up eating Flintstones chewables and Flintstones aired in like, what, the 60s? And it was still on the air when I was a kid. But I don't know if it's on the air now. Anyway, I bought two types. I bought a pasta can link Flintstones and she could also link Flintstones with iron because she needs the iron. Because she doesn't eat red meat. In fact, if you look at this, um, what was the daughter's name? It was Bam Bam was the, was the son. What the fuck's the daughter's name? Oh, I don't remember the daughter's name. Anyway, the she looks just like that here. Boom, bitch got a steak. So if you need your iron supplements, you get the iron one. So yeah, uh, for some reason, the other one's bigger. 60 versus, uh, they're both 60. Wait, does this mean it's smaller pills? I'm opening this up, baby. I just gotta check for, for the sake of the argument. All right, so here is, she doesn't like grape. So there's a grape. I love the grape ones. I don't know about you. I think they might be my favorite. Let's see what a non iron grape one looks like. It is slightly thicker. Barely, I don't see a reason to have, like if 60 pills barely fills this up for regular, and then 60 pills barely fills this up in a much, much smaller bottle. So I don't see why they can't just fill this bottle up with bigger ones. Me and both. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm having a nom flashback. Happy birthday, baby. Mmm. Mmm. The one with the, with the iron was on the right hand side. I think I could tell. Um, yeah, so I've been taking like Centrum Silver, which is for old people. But my doctor was like, only take the silver ones. They have the right proportions of things. The other ones are bullshit. So I'm like, cool. But they're like horse pills and they don't taste like Flintstones chewables. So I'm probably more likely to chew on one of those just randomly than anything else. This is from IFI. That is the entire stack. Um, you know what I noticed since che Chewbacca's been gone? Because we're in like, it's June, and uh, she's been gone since October. I used to try to keep it quiet, like, because she might have been sleeping in a box over there, or sleeping in the room, and I was like, oh, shh, quiet cat. Now that she's not here for like this length of time, I'm just like, ow. Did that bother anybody? No, okay, so I have the entire, I said, hey, IFI, can you send me the new Air Series? And like, which one? I'm like, yes. Uh, oh. That is a great box that's going in the basement. That's a perfect size. Um, so if you don't know, IFI makes the Zen DAC. You should know, $170 now with a little price increases. Still amazing detail, uh, amazing bargain. It used to be 130, then became 150, now it's 170. Cost and chip shortage. So they now said, let's make an even cheaper version with less stuff. And we'll call them the, again, Zen Air. They really have, been. make it something that's not Zen. But we now have the Zen Air can. There's the headphone amplifier. The Zen Air phono, phono preamp. The Zen Air USB DAC plus headphone amplifier. So that's the Zen DAC. And then the Zen Blue, which is the HD Bluetooth DAC. So this is just Bluetooth. Well, this is Bluetooth DAC. Let's do this one first, because I'm the least interested in this one. So let's get out of the way. I'm probably not gonna open every one of these. I think you get it. And it's just gonna be a fucking mess. But let's see, we've got an IFI sticker. That's actually nice. Put that on my car. The box is, instead of being aluminum, it's now plastic. It is the same nice shape though. I like this shape. We have a lot of peelable protective covers, front and rear. So basically the whole, I lost the cover. The whole box, they still have the silicone caps. The whole box is plastic now. 
but really like if you're gonna go cheap and this is I think every one of these is around a hundred around a hundred under uh, around a hundred I'm gonna say um here's the air blue so it's just got five volt in RC outs still gold connectors they put they, they didn't use a flat plastic it's a nice textured plastic IFI knows how to make their shit look good decent button We've got something that says kilohertz here, but there's no indicator, so obviously it's gonna light up. Some little rubber feet. Are they all this color too? Looks like the, that's nice. Let me look at the actual power supply they supply with it. Unless it's just a USB cable. It's just a USB cable, isn't it? Which would make sense. All right, so they send it to you with a USB to the, so why not just make it a fucking USB input? Because then people are gonna be confused. Why is my USB jack working? Now you can't lose that wire. So that's like a ne that's a negative. I'm gonna call that out as a straight negative So yeah, you connect to this you pair it and that's your Bluetooth receiver These things are always useful. I wish it had fiber optic output because even the cheapest Bluetooth receivers now have fiber optic Which is great because you don't have to worry about the DAC built into it. You just send your Bluetooth signal to another DAC so one of the things that's missing I know you know what it is because they want to they want to make sure that the IFI Zen blue, not the iFi Zen Air, little tiny word air blue um, is purchased. So that's one. Phono, uh, we'll get to. I think these are the big ones. This is the one that everyone's going to be really concerned with. This is Zen DAC, which is base Zen Air DAC. I'm sorry, Zen Air DAC. Zen Air DAC. Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Heavier. USB cable and another one of those wires. So we're gonna go, we're going full fuck with these wires. They better sell extras and replacements. Standard USB cable, okay. Looking at the unit itself. Tits off for the boys. Tits out for the boys. Uh-huh. There's a different color. It's a slightly different color. Are they doing that, seriously? They're going like, this will probably be, oh wait. I wonder if you have to power it because it's got a USB and only USB. So it means it should run itself off of USB, but it has the, the thing. I know the other one had the option if you wanted to power it separately and not use your USB. This one's sort of forcing you. It says external power, so maybe either one works. So there, it's basically, you've got a power match button, an X base button, the same exact metal volume knob as on the expensive units, but in a plastic case. And no balance, just quarter inch. So you got the quarter inch. I have to keep this with it so I don't lose that. So that's two. That's two units so far. Uh, I'm looking at, I'll look at the DAC, or I'll look at the, the, amp, the CAN next, and we'll skip the MMCX phono stage. Because I just, I don't want to stand here for 30 minutes doing this. My back hurts as it is. Those Flintstones tubules are not making my back feel better yet. One, two. Wait, one. There we go. That, and this is the paperwork for this. I've screwed it up already. I want to get to that Sivga. There's a new Sivga. That's a new Sivga. If you read the title of this video and it had something to do with Sivga, that's the new Sivga. It's really an unfoldable, giant, heavy cardboard quick start guide. This does have balanced. Okay, so... I actually fully enjoy the, uh, the Zen Can. Like it's one of my favorite amplifiers, under $200. Same thing, USB adapter, which probably means that this thing is gonna be limited on power to based on what unit you're using. Another different color, a darker shade. Um, I'll plug this in, wait, we'll peel this off without popping off one of those. We'll plug this in, we have in and out we have got, I'm sorry, three inputs. So you actually have a three input cheap amplifier. 3.5 millimeter and two RCA inputs, full. High res audio sticker on the back, thank God, I don't wanna see it. Zen Air can. The front has the exact same amount of buttons as the regular real full size um, amp. Zen can amp. So you've got power, input, one, two, three. Uh, you have three gains instead of four. 
Same metal, perfectly smooth. Like amazingly, like this volume knob should win awards just for the way it feels and turns. It's great. It actually feels a little lighter, like in weight. Like I don't know how that's possible. Quarter inch output, uh, uh, S bow, which means balanced output. And I'm assuming it's really balanced. No, it isn't. It says right here, single-ended 6.3 output, single-ended 4.4 output. So they're doing a topping where it's, 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 a, it's a balanced output, but it's not a balanced output. And you have X base and X space. So that gives you like a full, a full yet not full. We'll see. If this one comes in even 60% as good as the other amp, we're going to be solid. And just for fucking, because you, I can't fucking not. I'm just going to run through this one. How fast can I open this up? Hold on. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Yep, same thing. Stock up on whoever sells these adapters, boys and girls. Why is there an MQA setup thing in here? It's a phono preamp. What are you doing? Oh, God. What? Don't kill me. There's, there's things that are just things that have to go back in their fucking order. Okay. Half the bag out. Whatever. Black now. The blackest of the black things. Uh-huh. Don't pop off those covers. So, we have got power here. Again, same thing. You need an adapter. You need a thing. MM, MM and MC. So it will do MM and MC. Here's your ground uh, input. You have inputs here and outputs there. Covered RCAs. The front has power. Subsonic filter is the exact same setup except for without balanced. And there you go. There's the entire fucking airline. <laughs> get it? The airline? Get it? The air I said airline. Cool. Can we please get to a headphone now? My back is killing. What did I do? What did I do? I ate a very salty chicken sandwich from um, Longhorn. I just I treated myself to Longhorn because I haven't been to Longhorn Steakhouse in like pre-COVID times or since COVID started. And now my fucking back is just like, ugh, you're dying. Anyway, if you're wondering what's in here, it's called the SVO23. So you know the SVO21, which is the like clothes back, most beautiful looking, like cheap, affordable clothes. Like, it's great clothes back. Here's the open back version of that. Got some foam. We've got some created with Craftsman Spirit. Uh, 15 millimeter moving coil type. What? We have earbuds. Are these true wireless earbuds? Uh, I was, I forgot that they were sending. Get off there, plastic. Come on. Just wiggle it. Just a little bit. Come on and now wiggle it. Oh, God damn it. You know what it is? I move those speakers. I gotta carry those down the steps now. God damn it, I'm gonna be crippled. Let's see if that doesn't make IMs. Wait a second. The fuck am I looking? Hold, hold the horses here. We've got ear hooks and foam tips. And then a set of earbuds, like legitimately, we're 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 earbudding this up, buddy. Oh, what if these are good? I don't expect them to be good. I mean, I don't expect them to be great. I mean, the wire's nice though. My God, Sivka's first like IEM wire is a banger. It's like it's like an expensive one. I love the spring. Strain relief. It's got the standard Sivga tip, 3.5 millimeter, four pole because we've got a microphone here. We've got a push button control and microphone. The split here it says M200. That slides only up to where the microphone is. And then you've got the actual units, which are fucking metal, uh, attached wire. But dude, I'm gonna have to. Well, they stay in my ears really well. Uh, that was a good spit. Oh, good. We have move. We have music. That can we, it's playing. I want to let this keep playing. The 
listening to music. Shh. I've never pulled something out and listened to it that fast. I was just like, all right. I mean, it's super bass light because it's a fucking in-ear. Not an in-ear. Not an in -ear. I'll say this, they're comfy as fuck. Okay. This is it, the great reveal. By the way, when I'm listening to music, I don't speak. Standard butt case. Did the SVL21s come in the butt case? By the way, this, take this off immediately and put your keys on it. Because this is so nice. This is a little thinner. What's some of the ones on my keys? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, the one on my keys is a nicer leather. But it's still nice. Literally, it's what I do. Just that's because you're never gonna carry that around by this. So just boom, you got a free keychain. The best keychain is a Civica keychain. Unplug this. I'm gonna give these uh, a break, a burning run on my burning rig for like I don't know 400 years, and then find out if those um, are worth looking at. But first, we need to really. I want to pull these out so bad. Quarter inch adapter. Standard great Civica cable with an adapter, which means we have a 4.4 by default, balanced cable by default with an adapter to 3.5, which is really nice, made of the knurled Civica stuff. Come on, open up. What if I can get a massage around here? Like I'm in fucking farm country, I don't know. If I get a massage, it might be Jim Bob's grandma. She should get down on the floor. I'm gonna rub my feet on it. It's such a weird, that's a weird split thing there. And that's 4.4 and that goes to 2.5. So there's that. I'm not a huge fan of 2.5, but I get it. Wow, these weigh nothing. Okay, so they've got Civica Phoenix headband. Not a, not a, not a problem. Love the Civica Phoenix headband and the adjustment system. Wow, the nipples, the titties on the bottom of this are super soft. Re it feels like real leather. I don't know if it's real leather or fake leather, but it feels like real leather. Super linear clamp. And we've got the open back. It kind of looks like the old blondes. And then we've got the pads that are basically Civica Phoenix pads. The ones that are really, they do that, that thing. These are gonna be so fucking comfy. Hold on. Oh, they're so fucking comfy. They're very, they're still dampening quite a bit. I don't like hear the world. Oh, they're so fucking comfy. They are fabric though. Some people don't like this fabric, but uh, I love it. So yeah, let's go burn in all this shit. And uh, don't forget to eat your friends those chewables. Don't forget to look at the Air Series. I think they're all on Amazon, I hope. And uh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I'm cool, you're cool, we're cool. Thank you, good night.